Hi! For today's vlog, I've decided that it might be quite interesting to let you guys in to what's going on with my throat. As many of you know, um, I've had to cancel some gigs recently, which was beyond frustrating. Not only do I hate letting organizers down, I hate letting the fans down, um, I hate letting anybody down. It was really not nice. The reason why I had to make that decision was unfortunately because I came down with laryngitis and as I'm sure many of you know, laryngitis is pretty much the worst thing a singer can get. I completely lost my ability to make any sound at all. I couldn't even talk for about two weeks. Eventually I did get my talking voice back. Uh, but the reason why I decided to cancel some gigs was when I started to do some warm-ups and just sing things very gently and see what was going on. Something very strange happened, something that's never happened to me before. I was singing in what is called the mixed voice, which is kind of a, a blend between the head and the chest. And um, something a little bit weird happened. I aimed for a note and I think I probably hit about six notes in some weird kind of Christina Aguilera style uncontrolled run, which is pretty much every single note except the note I was actually aiming for at the time. Not only did that completely startle me because normally when I aim for a note, the note happens. Uh, the part that really got me though was that I had pain with that and I got pain in my throat here and kind of across into my ear and I've never had anything like that before it was really scary and that was the point where I thought okay something's going on we sort this out that's another trip to the doctor um, and I need to cancel some gigs that are coming up because I, I, I can't sing, I don't have a voice. What is there is not right. It hurts, it shouldn't hurt. So unfortunately I did end up canceling a few gigs, but today was the day where I got to go to the specialist. So here's the trip. Hi everybody. So today is the day I am off to the ear, nose and throat specialist in Nottingham to find out the situation uh, of what's been going on with my laryngitis. Uh, quite excited to obviously see what's going on, make sure there's nothing serious or if there is something serious going on I can at least then start to work on fixing that. I have had this done once before uh, and uh, I passed out, yay! So hopefully I don't do that again this time. Uh, it was really interesting though seeing the video afterwards about what my vocal folds looked like. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to get some footage for you guys so that you can see that too later. Um, but yeah, here we go, we're on the way and uh, we'll find out what happens soon. Here we are at the ear, nose and throat center about to find out what's going on. So here I am in the chair. I've just had the like the initial uh, exam. They've just checked it out. There's no redness or anything going on. It looks like the glands are good. They're not swelled up or anything. He's just gone to fetch the camera because um, there's two different versions. The one that goes up through the nose is the one that makes me pass out or the one that goes just straight down your throat. So he's gone to fetch that one in the hopes that we can avoid that happening this time. So uh, here goes. I've just come out of the room with the consultant and yeah good news uh, they popped the camera down my throat we've just had a look my vocal folds are absolutely fine they're really white they're really clean really healthy so that's fantastic news that was news I was hoping for um, basically I can start singing again knowing I'm not doing any damage at all which was that was really the concern that I uh, mostly had for it um, so yeah I can start singing again now gently uh, which means hopefully all my future gigs should all be good. Really pleased about that. I did manage to get some footage um, as well, so uh, I'll edit that in and let you have a look at what my vocal folds look like when I'm singing and how healthy they are and how clean. Yay! Uh, home time now. Uh, yeah, really pleased about that. Can't wait to tell you all. 
Back now from the specialist. I am so, 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 so relieved about the news that I received from the specialist. It was just really positive, really good news. Obviously the topic of vocal nodes comes up when a singer has something wrong with their voice. For those of you who don't know what vocal nodes are, they are basically little lumps that form on the vocal folds. And obviously the vocal folds are kind of supposed to do this nicely um, to make the sound. But if you have a big, lump sticking on the the vocal fold obviously if it hits that it makes a really weird really weird sound and it's incredibly damaging uh and it's not good there are different types of nodules from what i've read up there are sort of soft ones which heal of their own accord and are generally caused by trauma or you can get hard nodules and those are the really bad ones that have to be surgically removed and uh, that was the one that had me really worried the fear was real for a while there but thankfully it's all clear now so I'm so relieved to find out that there's been no damage from the laryngitis it is literally just acute laryngitis and it's just taking a really long time for me to heal my treatment now is just to rest a little let it let it get better let the laryngitis pass completely and then just start singing some really simple scales really slow i'm basically going back to the absolute basics of singing to look after my voice and make sure that i maintain it and and nurture it and bring it back up to where it was prior to me getting the laryngitis what i did manage to do while i was there and uh, i was really pleased because the specialist let me actually film the results of that so i can actually let you guys into something really really cool for a singer i can literally let you guys see what my actual voice looks like. I will say if you are squeamish or you don't like internal people bits or th things like that, uh, look away. I will tell you when you can look back um, because if you're a bit squeamish, it is a little bit gross. But if you're interested in how the voice works and how the vocal folds move, this is a really cool little video that I can show you. There is also some flashing in it. I think it was the type of camera that you had to use, kind of had a flashy light on it. Again, if you're sensitive to flashing, uh, don't look or get somebody who will be able to tell you if it's okay to look first. I will tell you when you can look back. Uh, here is the actual footage of my vocal folds in action. Enjoy. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for those who are squeamish, you guys can look back now. Uh, for those who are light sensitive, you can look back now. That's all over and done with. You've now seen exactly what my voice looks like. Um, the great news is they are pure white. They are really healthy. As you could see, they were moving really nicely. I think it was fascinating getting to see that inside. Obviously massive relief that there was nothing on them. So there's the really good news. There's no major issues. It is just a really, really bad case of laryngitis. So that's great news um, as a singer. And that means hopefully I will be getting get back to gigging as soon as I can. Everybody who sent me wishes, I thank you so much. I thank everybody who's been really understanding, all the organizers that have been so understanding. People have been messaging me, uh, sending me best wishes, wanting to check in. Thank you so, so much. It was really appreciated. And I'm so pleased that we could end this on really good news. If you've enjoyed this vlog, which is a little bit of a strange vlog, but I want to let you guys into something really unusual that does not happen uh, every day because obviously you don't get a camera, but don't you throw it every day. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, click the little bell thing. That will make sure that you get notified about every video that comes up. Uh, make sure to like the video. If you think what you saw was really interesting, 
watching or you just want to comment on how weird vocal folds look um <laughs> make sure to comment as well uh yeah thanks for tuning in um hopefully i will be able to get the footage from more come done soon so check back um and i'll get that up soon bye also, as a last note to end on, I want to apologize for the weird, slightly blurring that's happening. Um, ooh, it does a little bit when I move my hands forward. Uh, I forgot to auto lock the focus onto my face, which helps. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I'll fix that for next time. <laughs>